Cousin. <laughs> you look bad. Yeah, I feel horrible. Huh? Where those today? Take this. Last night was mad real, huh? Hey, Carissa. Hey. Investigators have identified the body that washed ashore along the Schuylkill River near Kelly Drive in Philadelphia. Officials say the body of 27-year-old Julia Cunningham, affectionately known as Jules, was found around 5.30 a.m. this morning by people walking their dog along the scenic route. Philadelphia police have been searching for this individual ever since being reported missing by her cousin Trish Cunningham several months ago. Philadelphia police have not yet released any information surrounding the circumstances of her death. And now let's go back to Kathy with that fun Friday forecast. Oh my God. Yo, so Trish is related to that job? Yo, Carissa, you good? No, I'm not. What else has she been hiding? And, and what does... <sighs> she hung over. Listen, I tried to tell you about her. I tried to talk to you about her like for like, well, a smooth one time, okay? That girl is not your friend. I saw her and T kissing at the bodega near campus. I knew that bitch was shady. I don't know what the hell is going on. Wait, so what did I miss? Sit down. Um, it's a bit early for that. No? All right, I'm just saying maybe some herbal tea will help. Calm your face down. Let's focus here. So Trish is messing with T. Yeah. Okay, and then Trish is related to Jules. Come on, Captain Obvious. That's what the news just said. Sometimes, please. You know my head's still spinning from last night. Last night? So, I saw Trish with J. Cobb last night. What? And I told Trish off for being with T. Really? really? First yeah. of all, you ain't tell nobody off. You not even built to be throwing verbal blows like that, cousin. But that's exactly what I did, though. Yeah, okay. Wait, so how do you know Trish was with T? Like I said, I've been trying to tell you. I've been trying to tell you that they was together. So you knew? Yeah, but like stuff just kept happening. It slipped my mind, hers too. I mean, yeah, Tosh did tell me and we was trying to figure out the right time to tell you, but it just never happened. Right. Ugh, okay. Hold up. Is that her? Better not be. Yeah, she said she wants to talk. About what? Yup, talk to her. Tell her to come here and me and Amaya can take it mm -hmm. from there. That's not necessary. Yeah, why not? But what I don't understand is, okay, you saw Trish with T, uh -huh. and then you saw it with J. Cobb. Sure did. And she's cousins with Jules. Something ain't adding up. <sighs> then why don't you meet up with her so she could put it together? Okay, you can lead with that, mm -hmm. or you can have her come here and mm -hmm. me and Amaya can yes. jump that ass. Yes. I mean, you owe it to yourself to see what's what. We come up with the plan first. Right. And then you reach out to her. Come, reach out and touch. Mm. I'm a bust upside of head. Okay. I'm a hitter just like this. Yeah. Knocking a forehead, mm. gremlin. Mm. Daddy? Is everything okay? Daddy, can I meet you in your office in about an hour? Yes, sweet pea. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, thanks, Daddy. <sighs> Look, babe, <sighs> I gotta go. But it's so early. You can't put it off, it can't wait? Apparently not. That was Carissa, and <laughs> she needs me, and it sounds pretty urgent. Toddlers and 20-year-olds are exactly alike. Don't be like that. Oh, Emerson. Yes? I have a problem that only you can fix. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I guess I'm the only one that can fix that problem, huh? Oh. 
What the hell is going on, T? And what's up with this Ashley? Why you ain't tell me that you got a sister? Look, man, why, what you mean, who is this Ashley? Why you got all these questions right now? That's the real question. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, now ain't the time for 28 questions. Just let me focus for a second. First of all, you need to let me know what's going on about deals I'm running. The deals that you run? Yeah, the deals I'm running. Hey, Trish, who are you talking to, man? You getting a little beside yourself with all this. Wow. Like, don't forget this is my operation. You hear me? Wow. Oh, wow. OK. Listen, man, I call you when you need it, Trish. You getting a little beside yourself. If I don't call you, I don't call you. And that's just how it is. You know what? <laughs> you beginning to sound more and more like hey. Daddy, look, don't make me go upside your head. My what? daddy ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> you better watch who you talking to. Matter of fact, you know what? Get your ass out of my car. You know what? Yeah, pull over. Let me out. I'm dealing with you right now. I'll find my way. <laughs> well, get your black ass out. Bye. 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 Did Ashley just text you to meet at noon? Yeah, she just texted me. Why? All right, never mind. Bye. Yo. Yo, no, she didn't. Just, what the? Mark, you were saying that you might have an informant? Yeah, that was her, Trish. Well, great. You ready to bring her in? Nah, man, not yet. I need more time. We don't have much time. Gene's moving his operations. We just raided two facilities, and they both came up empty. We have to wrap this up quickly. We don't have time. Yo, I'm on this, man. Listen, the situation keeps evolving new players like Ashley. Yeah, I know. We, we should have been more on top of that. Yo, what am I dealing with? Who is she? She's a ghost. She comes in, body parts oh. start piling up, and then she's gone. Wait, 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 wait. Body parts? Look, the last time you brought Gene in the stand trial, Ashley shows up for a few days. Then the witness's ears, fingers, and other extremities are sent to the prosecutor, the arresting officer's home, even the daycare to judge's three-year-old. What the hell, man? Her name's The Butcher. We know that she's Jean's daughter from another woman, but we thought it was a man for a while, and then we got a break in the case. Why now? Like, why is she here now? Well, we were hoping you can fill those pieces in. Jean brings her in when he thinks there's a snitch on the team, so you better be careful. All right, man. Your team moves everything to the Northern Liberties location. And Jay Cobb, your team needs to get these units to the Navy Yard. This has to be flawless. All right, but. There is no room for error. We got to get this all out tonight. The DA's itching to get a warrant signed, and our little birdie on the force said they're looking to execute it ASAP. We'll get it done. Yeah, I mean, most of the house has already been cleared anyway, so. All right, good. We need to move this all to the Russians. If they think we're messing up or we're coming up short... It's dead in the water. Exactly. What time is this? I thought we were supposed to be meeting at noon. All right, fellas. Go time is tonight at 11 p.m. You have the blueprints. Let's get it done. Yeah, all right. Puss in boots. Let's chat. I don't need this shit. I'm about to get out of here. Oh, you sound a little wound up. You need me to relieve some of that stress for you? No. Nah. I'm good. Girl, relax. If you need to go out and try it again, leave your emotions at the door, then that's fine. Otherwise, let's talk business. Trish, you good? I'm fine. Damn, man, she's a savage. You good or you want me to call T to hold your hand through this? Girl, please. T can't even get himself together without me holding his hand. Oh, Is the honeymoon over between y'all? No, it's not that. It's Girl, just that. Pump your freaks. I don't even know why you think I care. Yo, what's your problem? Why are you always coming for me? Ooh. Is that a little bass in your voice? You so cute. <sighs> Please. I ain't worried about you. I'm tired of tea getting distracted by all you little flies. First Carissa and now you. First of all, I'm not the distraction. 
I've been getting things done around here. But Carissa, on the other hand, she's a distraction. What you mean? It's T. He's losing his mind over her. I mean, just the other night, he wanted to spend time arguing about this chick. Meanwhile, we was late for a drop. So if she's a distraction, then take care of her. What? If you're trying to help him out, and Carissa is a distraction, then take care of her. I can't do that. Why the hell not? Look, that's not even necessary. See, in this family, we look out for each other. And if you're trying to be a part of our little crew, then you gotta do what's necessary. She's disposable. What are you? So what you got in mind? nothing that you can do. Like, she's in unbearable pain right now. There's, there's, there's nothing more that can be done. You know what? I'm going to check with the doctors to see if we can adjust her meds any further. Anything. Please. Thank you. It, it might be time for you to say your last goodbyes. No. No. I'm sorry. Me. You say God always shows up when we least expect it, right? Thanks for reaching out. Yeah? Yeah, of course, baby. You're my daughter. Why didn't you tell me? Amaya, how do you tell someone you love something that you know is going to break their heart? I don't know. You at least tried. I mean, I have tried. I can never bring myself to do it. You should have. I mean, I know that now. Part of me was hoping that Tasha would tell. Tell me what? Tell you about me. Why would... So she already knew? Yeah. I mean, in order to get her to open up about what she was going through with her mom, I had to open up to her about you. So she been lying to me this whole time? Look, stop it, all right? Just stop right there. Don't do that, all right? Now, we're working with the best that we got. And sometimes in life, things don't always happen the way you want them to. Well, that's easy for the person that's picking and choosing when they want to tell the truth. You watch your tone, young lady, all right? <laughs> so you're going to be mad at a dying man? I mean, that's classy of you. Don't say that. We're going to fight this together. Yeah. We will, baby. We will. Thank <laughs> you. 
phone, please record your message. Yes, <laughs> please call me back. But tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> that was just too funny. <laughs> oh, oh man. man. I gotta take this yeah. You mind if I take it? You sure, go ahead, baby. Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Hello? My What? Oh okay, alright. I I'll meet you at your house in 30, okay? Alright, in bed. I'm so sorry for your loss. Okay. Yeah, hey. Is everything okay? No. Dad, I'm so sorry. I gotta go. Hey, baby, I'm sorry I'm late. It was a hectic day. Why didn't you just call me? Baby, I couldn't get away. What's up? Can I see the file on T's family? Well, Jean's business. Here it is. Well, Jules isn't missing anymore. They found her body this morning. Yeah, the medical examiner's conducting her autopsy as we speak. Do you have anything on the Trish Cunningham? We're chasing down some leads to see how deeply she's involved. Carissa, how do you know Jules? We used to be friends. And Trish? We used... Look, Dad, it's complicated, okay? Carissa, I need to know how deeply involved you were with Terrence. Look, Daddy, I... I... I can't protect you if I don't know what's going on. Okay, look, I helped him. A long time ago. Help them do what? Transport and store duffel bags. Look, I knew it was stupid, but I didn't know. What... Not another word. <sighs> you have any addresses on any of these businesses? I don't remember the address, but I know how to get there. Hold on. Nicholas. I need you to drop some search warrants. When I find the locations, I'll get them to you as soon as I can. Baby, I want you to write them down. Let me get another call. Paul. We're drawing up search warrants for one of Gene's establishments. Get a team together now. Yeah. Write it down. It's go time. Hey, Bass. What's up, man? Bass is gonna be all right. Your grandma wouldn't want to see you all sad like this. Mm -hmm. I'm here for you, Bass. Okay. 
energy right now. It's like I'm just trying to graduate. Now she going, trying to figure out how to pay for these last credits. Now I gotta find some place to live or pay back payments on this drone. Cause it's about to be foreclosed by the bank. Like everything is just happening so fast. So stupid right now. Look, Bass, everything's gonna be all right. We gonna figure it out. It's got to be a way to turn a foreclosure around. But what money? I got some money saved that I could get to you. Plus, I mean, we could do a bake sale, sell some dinners. Whoa, pump your brakes, Rachel. Wait, last time I knew you wasn't even a cooking type. <sighs> I mean, I don't. But I know other people who can cook. And Grandma, she was all up in the church. The church mothers wouldn't mind helping out. Yeah. You're right. Thanks, Amaya. For what? I did absolutely nothing. Look, I know things been crazy ever since Ashley popped up on the scene. She makes it weird. Nah, she just protective. Protective? Protective of what? I would never do nothing to her. That's what I said. Because we just friends, right? Best. I just... Right? Now I see why you ain't taking my calls. Look, can you go upstairs, please? What are you talking about? I called you twice and left the voicemail. What is she doing here? I'm here because my friend needed me. All right, look here, Papaya. I got something for that. Attitude. Enough! No! I'm tired of her mess. Like, what, what is her name even? Come on. I've been calling you for the last half, and you haven't picked up your what phone. What are you talking about? Where's my, your phone? My phone is like... Right. Where's your phone? You know what? My phone? Well, Bassett was. Yo, Maya, I think it's time for you to go. I was trying to give you guys. Trying Maya. To get, you... get out. Bye. What did you need to talk My to My grandmother her about? just passed away. I'm sorry, baby. Everything is just so... I know. I know. We'll figure it out. I'm here for you, okay? Sorry. Just... All right, this is little man's tutor. I'm going to just handle this, and then I'm going to come back, and we'll figure something out. We'll come up with a game plan. All right? All right. Shit. I'm going to make a cup of tea, and I'll be right back. All right, baby? When I call, pick up the damn phone. Daddy, I'm getting everything together as quickly as promised. Well, getting it done isn't the same as having it done. You're absolutely right. The DA is executing the warrant as we speak. All right, what's the timeline? Under three hours. I'll get it done in 45. Good. There's a rat in the house, and I want to smoke him out. Should I get T involved? No. It's one of his. And I want a clean house, damn it. All right. As you wish. Look, whatever you have to say, save it. I need to speak to Carissa. We'll call her phone then. She won't pick up the phone. Can you blame her? Let me speak to her. <sighs> well, could you at least tell her to call me? It's not what she thinks it is. Are you going to meet up with this girl or not? Because she got to stop calling my phone. I guess. You guess? All right, look, just tell her to meet me at my place. 
right, here we go. Said pull over right here. Hey, yo, what you need your sister's directions, man? Look, man, I'm not gonna ask you again. Really? So you just gonna blow my head off and then burn the car, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna blow your head off. I'm not burning the car. I'm gonna keep this joint. Get out the car, yo. Look, man. Come around. Yo, look, man. Save it, Cobb or Mark, whatever the hell your name is. What you thought we wasn't gonna get to you? See, my man Gene got people all over the DA. How we think we got you? Look, man, I've been out here protecting you. Protecting your family, your unborn child, Yo, man. don't bring my child into this. They don't got nothing to do with this. So you the narc. I'm we not, talking about man. you here. Yo, I'm not, man. Listen, man, I got, a, I got a kid on the way, too. OK, and what you want me to feel bad for you or something? <laughs> what you want me to show you mercy? My man, you gonna die regardless. Right, so do me a favor, get down on your knees right now, yo. Try and do this quick come on, and man. clean. Come on, man. No, come on, yo, shut up. My man, stop talking to me. Y'all here talking and shit. My man, shut up. I'm y'all here in the daylight and shit. What's going on with you? What the hell happened to society? I don't know. I'm getting all that sorted out right now, but your girl Trish texted saying that this is hers, you're hers, and that she's taking out the competition, whatever the hell that means. All right, I gotta go. What's wrong? She's gunning for Carissa. All right, y'all. Now, I know it's been a lot of drama. A lot of stuff done came to the light. We done lost a couple friends. Mm including a sneaky little fatty trifling. Let's mm. not go there. I won't. But anyways, I just want to let y'all know I love y'all. Oh. And Amaya, we are family. I don't care what the papers say. And Carissa, you've become something like a, f a final sale item I can't return. Oh. <laughs> and Tasha, you're like an unwanted house mouse we just can't get rid of. Mm, at least I pay rent though, OK. Yeah. OK. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look, let's just make it to graduation so that I can have a fresh start. Mm. You need one. You need about two or three of them joints. And oh, wow. <laughs> I might be walking down the aisle after graduation. What? Don't you think you and Michael moving kind of fast? Hardly. He did ask your girl to move in with him after graduation, though. Mm. Shagging up. Ow. Well, look, Tasha, I'm happy for you. At least one of us deserves a normal life. No, all of us, OK? Deserve a happy life. That part right there, cousin. Mm -hmm. Bend your knees. It's in your form. Swing from your hips. See, baby. Oh my God. I need help. We have, we have to park. 
or, or 45th. My girlfriend, she's been shot. I need, hello? I need assistance. At the park. All right. Rissy, baby. Baby, come on. Talk to me, baby. Come on, baby.